Hey guys, I don't normally do two vlogs in a week. <laughs> this week has been a busy, interesting, stressful week. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to get a collage page done for you on Friday, which is when this video will air. I'm going to try. Today is Thursday. I'm going to try, but we'll have to see. There's a lot going on, and I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to finish my coffee. And yes, my cup says get your jingle on. <laughs> um, there's a lot going on because of um, so a little bit of restructuring in my work slash art business life and also, um, you know, cutting back on some things so that I can focus on other things like my new stamp release that just came out. Um, and it came on a good day where I was stressed about other stuff and it was a really happy um, coincidence that that happened. And um, I also talked a lot to Kristen of Rubber Moon Art Stamps. If you um, don't know who they are, go look them up, rubbermoon.com. And she has her own line of stamps and she has artists that design stamps for her that she sells on her website. She also does art stamps for artists and she's a really sweet lady. Her name is Kristen. I love her. Thank you for talking to me the other day. I appreciate it. I really needed the reminder. Yeah. So uh, I may be older than you, but you know, still learning, always learning. And you can tell, see my white roots, I got to get them touched up. <laughs> but I thought I'd get on to chat with you guys a little bit about that and remind you all that, you know, later today we are going to have the live view stream. We are going to be playing with my new stamps. So we're going to probably be playing with some watercolors too. And I have a bunch of little, um, like four by six watercolor cards, we'll probably be playing with them. And uh, you know, you never know with me. I may break out a journal. Who knows? I, I honestly don't have anything planned other than I know I want a watercolor and I want to play with my stamps. Um, we'll be drawing the name for the giveaway earlier in the day. I'll be announcing it on the Ustream. I will also uh, be posting it on social media um, during the Ustream or shortly thereafter. Uh, for those of you who don't catch the Ustream. And uh, what else will we be doing? Um, one of the things I did recently this week when I was out, it seems like I've been out running errands like every day this week. I really am not, I like my days at home. I know that's probably, I've been diagnosed recently with maybe having anxiety disorder. And I know those of you who've been watching me for a while and or who are friends aren't surprised by that. And you probably thought I already had an official diagnosis. I have a tentative one from my primary care physician and I will be hopefully soon seeing a therapist to get some help with that. But that being said, I do have plenty of days where I don't want to leave the house and there are, I could very easily be one of those people that just is always at home and never leaves the house. That could be me really easy, especially on bad days. This week I haven't had a single day where I haven't had to leave the house. Um, and that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> I have to leave the house every day this week. Um, but one of the things I did when I was out was I stopped at, um, Tuesday morning and, um, I'm glad I did. They had Adirondack Dauber paints for $1.49 and they, mine actually had quite a few colors. Um, so you might want to stop at your Tuesday morning, uh, soon and see if they still have any. That's less than a half price. Um, and I also went to Joann's, which is not too far away, and I picked up some new water brushes. So I kind of have a water brush review for you. I'm going to pull out, I've got my bucket here. These are all my watercolor brushes, not just water brushes. Um, I'm going to pull like one of each kind out, old ones and new ones. Let's see. And there's one more. Okay. So this is my favorite water brush. This is a Pent... Oh, turn on the light and some, get some glasses. I think this one's by Pentel. Yeah, this is a Pentel water brush. And now you can find these a lot of places, but didn't I just say I don't like to leave the house? It's also easier for me to do my shopping online than driving all, all over creation looking for stuff. I... I that drives me crazy, and I have an issue with crowds. So yeah, shopping online is easier. So I just get these at Amazon. 
Um, sometimes they have them at jet pens also. One of these days I want to look and see if I can just get a huge lot of them somewhere. I love these pens, but I am rough on them. <coughs> if you've watched any of my watercolor videos, I have a tendency to like do some scrubbing with the brush, which is really hard on the bristles. And after a while, I just saw one here that's doing it, starting to do it, this one. After a while, the bristles start to splay. I don't know if you can see that there's one, like right there. There's one hair that's starting to like stick out, not wanting to go back. Because I have a tendency to do like a scrubbing motion. Um, so my favorite is the Pentel. I love the Pentel water brush. I feel like I have decent control and it works really well, never clogs up. It only comes in one um, size tip. And it's a nice, like, medium to fine. It's got a nice point on it. It's, an, it's, a good, it's a good tip. It's not too big. It's not too little. I have a few of these. Now, these are by Kurataki. And I have a number of them. Now, these are old, and I like these, but... Um, I'm really only a fan of this one, and you can tell this one's well-loved because look at the bristles are all every which way. Um, I've had this one for quite a while. I also have somewhere, I have one that's a flat, unless I totally narfed it up, which I'm not seeing it in here, so I might have gotten rid of it because it might have been totally narfed up. Here's another one. It's an even tinier point. These are a little more expensive. They work just great, but they're a little more expensive, and so for that reason, they're not necessarily my favorite. Um, but they work okay. My favorite is still the Pentel because it's inexpensive and it's easily found and all of that. Um, I have this water brush. It says um, T Prime Water Brush Design, which I don't know. I don't remember where I got it, to be honest with you. That doesn't surprise you, does it? I've been told that's part of my anxiety disorder. Um... It works okay. The tip is not super small, and it kind of, kind of like you can tell right now because I took the tip, the cap off. It leaks everywhere, so that kind of annoys me when the water comes out when you don't want it to. Yesterday, uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Wednesday, one of the days this week when I was out running errands. I don't know. I, the day I went to Tuesday morning, I went to Joanne's also, and I found this um, water brush. Is this the one? Yeah, this, this one. Now, this is a Ranger water brush, but it's made by Kurataki, so it's the same as this one. Um, this was sold by Ranger, and it's a super fine detail tip, which I just really like. And I like this brush. It doesn't seem to leak. It works really well. I, I really... I tried it last night. I was playing with my watercolor pencils, and it worked really well. I also was playing with um, one of these. Now, I picked these up the same day. These are by, I don't know who, in fact, they're generic. They may be a generic and they don't even have a, there's nothing on the tip of the, there's nothing on the tip of the brush, but they were sold in this set of three and they were in the scrapbooking department. I don't remember, honestly, the manufacturer. I like these brushes. They work well. I have one gripe. The caps don't stay on. I hate that. You know, when you're carrying it around and you're walking around the house and the cap goes flying off, it drives me crazy. Otherwise, I love the brushes. Hate the caps, love the brushes. So that's a little review. I would still, I think I've had to do it again. If you only could do one, just get a Pentel water brush. I love it. So what was my other tip? Oh yeah, so I was sorting and organizing my watercolor pencils into their new case. And... I got all of my watercolor pencils into here. I have two kinds. I have the Prima watercolor pencils, and then I also have some Derwent watercolor pencils. Now, before I sorted them into here, I was going to do like the Frugal Crafter did, and she went into each set of pencils and marked the barrel of the pencil with a different kind of washi tape for whatever to correspond with what set they went into, because they're sold in the skin tone set or the scenic set or the spring and fall or uh, spring and fall I think spring and fall they have different sets of colors and so why am I guessing I have a thing here oh, I'm gonna tell you about in a minute um, scenic root soft neutrals 
um, Julie Nutting Hair and Skin Tones, which I love that set. If you can only buy one set and you have other water-soluble pencils, get the Skin and Hair Tones. Um, Spring and Fall, the Basics, which is like primary colors, and then Earth Tones. And she marked each one of her barrels, and I was going to do that. In fact, I started doing that, and I thought, doesn't Prima, Prima should have like a color chart or something on their website, right? They do. And I printed it and I cut it into little pieces of paper like this. It has a picture with the name of the set it goes to and each one of the colors that belong in that set. So if I want to work on um, a landscape, I can pull these color numbers out of my kit and work on the landscape. And this just lives in my watercolor case. Love that. And I used last night the Derwent watercolors in conjunction with the Primas because luck luckily, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, I have slightly different colors in the Derwent than I have in the Prima. So they complement each other very nicely. They will both work very well. I was very pleased. Um, so I would recommend either one of those. Of course, if you have a coupon, I'm always going to tell you, use a coupon. Um, art supplies are expensive. <laughs> and if you're on a budget uh, and or you've got... Uh, you're college poor like me because <laughs> you're paying for a kid to go through college or something else or you just don't you know you don't have lots of money around good to use a coupon uh what else i up finally updated my to-do list oh my god you guys have been so bad that my desk was a disaster this thing was so covered in post-it notes that i couldn't even see the to-do list i got all of that i spent a long time yesterday cleaning up my desk catching up on etsy postings taking photos for etsy posting them to Etsy. <laughs> All the listings for the stamps are up and correct. And I had uh, Kristen from Rubber Moon. She double checked the ads for me. She recommended a couple of changes, which I made great suggestions. Thank you again. And uh, so that's all good and done. I've got the drawing stuff all sorted and organized and the creative food journaling box is open on the floor. And I, as I come across more things, I'll be adding more stuff to it. Um, I think that's it right now. I have all the boxes from the Prima watercolor pencils, the tins. They're really kind of a cute. I usually throw the metal tins away, but I don't really want to with these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I think I'm going to store them in my stash of recyclables that I have in my little cubby out in the garage still. And I think I'm going to put them in there while I'm thinking about it. I don't think that I'm going to throw them away because I have this feeling. feeling I might like to do some sort of like an art journal in a box or something. I don't know. They need to be something because they're a good size. I'll show you. They're a really good size and they're a nice tin. So I don't know if it needs to be art cards in a box or uh, I'm not sure, but I like these tins. So I'm going to be hanging on to them for a little bit. I think that's all right now. I need to have some breakfast. I need to finish my coffee. I need to take a deep breath and do something nice for myself because I deserve it. <laughs> so do you. All right. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you all later. Hopefully I'll get a collage page done at some point today so I can get it posted for you tomorrow before the Ustream. Um, but if you don't see one, now you know why. And I will see you all soon. Hopefully you're going to be watching me on the Ustream tomorrow. And I will have at least one um, admin helping me out, and I will have my iPad next to me, so I'll be able to glance up and see your questions as you post them in the thread, and uh, the admins can help answer them too, hopefully, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go good. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all later. Bye.